So this is the start of day three, and I'm just showing you guys our hotel balcony. Um, this is what I call a sea view. Almost 260 degrees all the way around. There's downtown Havana, and you can see the memorial in right in the distance there, the tall building um, where we were yesterday. It used to be easy for Americans to visit Cuba, but in 1959 Fidel Castro led a revolution which led to a US economic blockade that has lasted 53 years. But in December of 2014, President Obama announced he wanted to normalize relations with Cuba and possibly lift the embargo. Cuba's strong cultural identity made it top of the list of places myself and Nina wanted to visit. We felt it important to visit at this time to see the country and Havana before any changes due to the US relations took place. We took a three-wheeled taxi, bike, the back of which was outstanding and I've got some footage of that as well. So yesterday we actually started off at the cemetery which was um, beautiful and more of a memorial than a cemetery and um, the guards who were looking after the place um, told us lots of stories of the certain graves that were there. And then we essentially went back to the squares that we visited on day one, we um, tried out the roof terrace over one of the plazas which we hadn't done on the first day um, where you got pretty much a 360 degree aerial view of uh, Havana. Sugar. Okay, here we so, have. What's in this? Michelada. What's in it? Beer, lemon, salt, honey, Liam Perry sauce. Liam, Pe Liam, Liam Perry sauce. Yeah. The, oh, sauce no, the sauce of England. The sauce yeah, of England. Right, here we go. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. They've given you a straw, but. It's nice. <laughs> Very I've refreshing. It. it is nice. It's like that beer with lemon, really, and all the rest of it. Can you that not taste, taste the Worcester sauce? <laughs> not really. Um, I'm not going to drink the salt of it. That's all water salt. But yeah, well, we, we recommend. So we went to the jazz club, um, which is quite famous around here band there getting the kind of crowd going but vintage kind of jazz on the piano as well which was very cool. <laughs> 